Hey everyone, this is Kevin, your entrepreneur, and let's talk about Laura Loomer. I, I wasn't going to touch upon this, much like how I decided not to touch upon the news story that the New York City um, attacker was an Uber driver because it's not necessary. Um, that doesn't have anything to do with the attacks, it's just politicizing it, and that's what the media does. But this story maybe is a little bit more relevant to people who are outspoken against Uber, and maybe there's a little bit of a lesson to be learned here. But Laura Loomer, um, who was a former journalist for Reason TV, I think she's a former, maybe she still works, I don't know, sent out this tweet yesterday, and it reads, Somebody needs to create a non-Islamic form of Uber or Lyft because I never want to support another Islamic immigrant driver. And then she went on a longer tirade against Uber, saying, oh, Uber hires terrorists, they do this. And uh, she has over 100,000 followers, which is amazing to me, really. Uh, and she sent out this tweet, and of course she tags Uber and Lyft in the tweet, which, you know, unless you don't want to do that unless you want a response. And their response, or at least Uber's response, was to ban her from the platform, which... It, it's interesting because here's the thing. I don't feel too bad for her. That was a very ignorant statement to make. And even as someone who leans conservative most of the time votes red, it's like there is so much wrong with that statement. So much wrong with that statement that it, it's, it would require its own video. But people have brought this up because I have defended people who say things I don't agree with and say, well... Do you believe she should have been banned from Uber for saying this? Is that not impending on a First Amendment right? And uh, the answer is no or yes. I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards a no here because um, as a business, Uber can do business with whoever they want. Um, and I feel this way with any business. So when the Christian bakers... Um, refuse to make a wedding cake for a gay couple, hey, it's their business. I feel they're free to do that. And when the gay coffee owner kicks out some Christians because they are handing out flyers for abortion or something and he doesn't like that, he has every right to do that. Uber has every right to not do business with wh whoever they want. That's just the nature of having a business, and that's what I believe. Now, should they be banning people who speak out against them? I think that's a no myself because, first of all, if someone is that anti-Uber, chances are they don't use the service. I mean, that sounds like a funny thing coming from me, but I don't ever use Uber as a service. I will drive for them occasionally when there's boosts, when there's surge. But will I use them as a service? No, because I don't like them. I like Lyft a lot better, so I use Lyft as a service. If Uber banned me as a passenger, I wouldn't lose too much sleep over it. If it hasn't banned me as a driver, that's something completely different. But as a passenger, it wouldn't bother me too much. Um, but here's the other thing. Uber got into a lot of trouble the one of their first signs of controversy is that they used to actually ban people from the platform for speaking out against the company, for complaining about the company. And Uber more or less realized that that was not winning them any points, and so they stopped. This tweet and these tweets were really not against Uber. They were against immigrants, and specifically Islamic immigrants. And not every Islamic immigrant is a terrorist. Not everyone is. It's, it's just not true. Much like every Trump supporter is not a white nationalist. So this does fly into the whole racist category where it's like he is making a blanket statement about a group of people based on the color of their skin and where they were born. In Uber's eyes, that is not okay. That is just not okay in their eyes. And um, I... I'm kind of like not feeling too bad that she got suspended. Now, if they start suspending people for going on Twitter saying, I'm Christian, and they start suspending them, or I'm atheist, and they start suspending them, or 
I believe in the flying spaghetti monster. And by the way, Jesus and Buddha are stupid. And they suspend that person. Those are suspensions I would have a problem with because those are people's personal beliefs and Uber is punishing people for having a certain belief. But having someone who says we need to get rid of this type of people i'm sorry i i don't know what to tell you that's not right it's not ethical so i have a i have a hard one with this one cuz uber has definitely abused suspending people for having the wrong thoughts before and the last thing we need is for companies to become the thought police. And whether you like the person or not, they should be free to say and think whatever they want. But freedom of speech does not equal freedom of consequence. She, Laura said something that was going to probably get a reaction. She had the freedom and the right to say it. But much like she had the right to say it, Uber had the right to respond to it. And I, like I said, I, I agree with a business where like, hey, the business can choose not to do business with whoever they want. Um, there is actually a pizza place, no joke, that I used to go to love their pizza. And one day um, I came in with a shirt and never mind what it said. I don't believe it was offensive. It was a Christmas shirt, actually. The owner saw the shirt and he decided that he frankly did not want to serve me anymore because he didn't like what was on the shirt. And I didn't sue him or anything because as a business owner, that was his right. I did make some YouTube videos on my other channel and I, uh, I definitely blasted him and got him some negative Yelp reviews. But my response to that after complaining was, okay, I will get pizza elsewhere. And he as a business owner had the right to not do business with me if he didn't want. So Uber just doesn't want to do business with Laura Loomer. And that said, she's not really banned. She will have another friend get her Ubers or she will change her number and go a different name. There's so many ways you can get back on Uber even after they suspend you. And I'm not going to tell you how because I don't want you back on Uber if you got suspended. Because if you're a passenger that got suspended from Uber, you must have done something really wrong because Uber almost never suspends a passenger. They almost never do. So if you get banned from as Uber, I don't want to give you the secrets on how to get back on. But you can, and I think she will be back on. She's Heck, she's into the internet journalism. I'm, I'm sure she's got buddies who will help her out with that. So that's my thoughts on that. But what are your guys' thoughts? Do you think she should have been banned? Do you think she shouldn't have been? I'd love to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy the videos I make, consider becoming a patron member. It's a little $1. It really helps, especially because videos like this, I don't make money off of. $5 to get access to exclusive videos, including a neat little Postmates trick that I'm going to be revealing pretty soon on how to make a little extra money on Postmates. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.